Hi everybody, I am Will Heather and welcome to my Sunday Morning Slim Club. Although it is not actually the morning anymore because I like to sleep late on the weekend. So this week I was testing out adding more vegetables to my evening meal to see if that made any difference to my weight. I was quite successful last week when I started drinking two litres of water every day. I lost 2.8 pounds that week. This week I was not so successful. Adding vegetables to my evening meal did not did not cause any weight loss that I can tell. I've actually gained weight. Last Sunday I was 8 stone 3. This Sunday I am 8 stone 3.6. But the scales don't always accurately measure success. It depends on a lot of things like hydration, uh, what you are wearing. So maybe I've gained muscle because, you know, maybe that's it. But anyway, I think adding vegetables is just, it's a good way to increase your feelings of fullness um, after a meal because of the fibre. It's a good thing to do for your health in general. And if you're filling up on vegetables, you're going to eat less of the more calorific stuff. So it's, it just seems like a sensible thing to do in general. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing that anyway. I don't think gaining 0.6 of a pound is a big deal, really. I think I've been successful at remembering to have vegetables every day. Except for there was one day when... Um, I just tried to eat as little as possible because I was feeling quite bloated and I just wanted to give my digestive system a bit of a rest. I completely forgot about the um, eating vegetables thing and so all I ended up eating was a can of beans. <laughs> Which is not a vegetable, it is a legume technically. It's not the worst choice I could have made. Apart from that one day, I have been successful in remembering, which is always good because my memory, not always great. So it's not been particularly hard. I'm really lazy. I like food that you can just shove in the oven, leave it, come back 20 minutes, half an hour later and it's ready. So I've been really craving Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of people hate them, but I just love them. So I have the frozen ones. I just shove them on a baking tray shove them in the oven and then they are all gorgeous and lovely when I come to get my food so yeah that's good. Next week I will be doing my very best to stop eating when I feel full. Now this sounds really simple I know I, I can just tell you're probably just sat there watching like yeah that's why are you trying that? That's like a normal thing to do. But think about it. How often do you go to eat and you feel like you have to eat everything on your plate? Like when you go to buffets, how often do you overeat be just be to get your money's worth? It's, it sounds really simple. It sounds like something we would all do anyway. But I'm not talking about stopping eating when you get like seriously stuffed so that you're waddling rather than walking. I'm talking about stopping when you first start to feel full. And I think that's going to be more difficult than it sounds because I know I was programmed right from being a child. I was always told, oh, you have to finish what's on your plate. So I've grown up with that and I still feel like I should. But I, I want to get into a place where I'm okay leaving food. It's like, if I'm full, I'm full. And like, I don't feel bad or guilty for wasting food. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be trying to do next week. I don't think it will be as simple as it sounds. <laughs> it should be, but I'm fighting against years of being told, clean that plate, eat your dinner. So we will see how that one goes. Are you trying any of these things? If you are, let me know in the comments box how that is working out for you. I would be really interested to know. Yeah, that's my update done for this week. 
stay tuned next Sunday and I will report back how I did. Catch you all later. Bye.